This is the scene across the islands of Abaco and Grand Bahama, days after one of the most powerful hurricanes ever recorded leveled parts of the Bahamas. Flood waters in the streets made them appear like the ocean. Concrete structures were turned to dust as if a massive bomb had exploded with atomic force. There are no words sufficient to describe this tragedy. How you doing everyone? This is Pastor Max Will of Newbies Grove Baptist Church and also the vice, one of the vice moderators of Tidewater Peninsula Baptist Association. The Tidewater Peninsula Baptist Association always steps up to make sure that we take care of our brothers and sisters in need no matter what part of the world that they're in. We're partnering with the COCC and the entire city of Newport News and Hampton Roads. We thank them for their partnerships. We thank all the churches from around the surrounding areas that have brought supplies to us. As you look around the room, we just started, but people are already bringing supplies. The nightmare in the Bahamas escalates. 30 people dead, and the country's top health official says the final body count could be, according to him, staggering. Morticians are on the ground embalming bodies because they don't have enough coolers to fit all of the storm's victims. We're hearing more and more horrific stories from survivors who were on the Abaco Islands where the storm surge was more than 23 feet and the winds 185 miles an hour gusting much higher. Thank you so much for all of your help and we are in need of clothing new and used, gently used, underwears new, children pampers, food especially for the babies because sometimes we forget that the babies need special food and all we want to do is say thank you so far for giving we're here from nine to five until the day we get ready to ship out monday through friday thank you thank you crushed homes toppled trees a yacht ashore plane parts strewn around what was the grand bahama airport wreckage in the wake of Hurricane Dorian, scenes that one official called apocalyptic. Uh, I just want to invite everybody to take a couple of hours out of your day to come out and just help. We have a good time and the community comes in and leave items and just to help pack up stuff and send to our neighbors. Grand Bahama right now is dead. It's dead and now this make it waste. This make it waste. People are wondering how are we going to get the supplies to the Bahamas, okay? Well, we're partnering with John Gray Ministries, with John Gray Ministries at Relentless Church in Carolina, and they already have a particular port that they're sending it to, okay? So between the Tidewater Peninsula Baptist Association, COC, C, Newbies Grove, and the whole community of Virginia pulling together, we're definitely gonna get these supplies. Now, the day that we're gonna ship it off is going to be October the 6th. We need you to bring it now. But the quicker you bring it, the better. You can hear them moving now. They're working now. So we definitely want to make sure that we take care of our community in the Bahamas. Do you know, King would say this, injustice anywhere is a threat everywhere. So when we don't take care of individuals when they're hurting, regardless of if they're in our country or not, that's injustice if you have the means to help them. So we want to make sure we continue to bless those individuals in need to walk in brotherly and sisterly love, no matter what their religious background is, to make sure that they have the necessary materials to live a great life. So whatever you can bring is definitely gonna help them out. Thank you so much, we love you. Thank you for partnering with us every time we do this because whatever you bring is definitely multiplied because we're bringing it together, all right?